Welcome to part two of the Supernote series. In the last video, I shared with you why you need to use the free Supernote Partner app. This will absolutely change how you use Supernote. And if you missed it, watch that video first. The link is in the description below and above in the card. In this video, I'm gonna show you the full step-by-step -step setup guide on how to configure the settings on your Supernote device to sync with Supernote Cloud. Then I'll show you how to install and set up the partner app on your Windows desktop and also on your iPhone so that everything stays perfectly in sync. And if you don't know what Supernote Cloud is, Supernote Cloud stores your files online so that they're backed up if something happens to your device. And it also helps free up space so you can keep writing and reading without worrying about storage. And it's completely free. If you already have Supernote account for your device, you can use the same account and password to sign into Supernote Cloud. You don't need to create a new one. But if you don't have a Supernote account yet, sign up for Supernote Cloud first, then log into your device with the same details. To register Supernote Cloud account, go to this website on the screen here, then click register account and follow the prompts. Once you have registered, we can now set up the sync on your notebook device. First, on your Supernote device, swipe down from the top to view the navigation bar. Tap on the settings gear icon. From the drive menu, choose Supernote Cloud. Select the folders to sync by checking the boxes. I'm going to leave all my folders selected. Then tap Save. And this last part is optional, but it's a good idea to have Auto Sync enabled. Now on your computer, Google Supernote Partner App, and from the website, download the desktop version. I'm using a Windows PC, but choose what's appropriate for you. Install the app and sign in with the same Supernote credentials you use on your device. If you've forgotten your username or password, you can choose the forgot password option or log in with code. Once logged in, you'll now see all the notes you chose to sync. Go to settings and make sure auto sync is toggled on. Even though my auto sync is toggled on, I make it a habit to manually sync the files before I open any notebooks to ensure I'm looking at the latest files. Installing the app on your iPhone is straightforward as well. Go to the App Store and download the Supernote Partner app. Once the app has been installed, log in using your Supernote credentials. You should see all your sync notes. Go to Settings and ensure Auto Sync is enabled. And if you want to manually sync, just swipe down from the top. On the iPhone, it's also a good idea to enable Supernote linking. This will allow you to send any compatible file on your phone to your Supernote inbox. For example, I have this PDF document. It's a waiver from SkyZone. I'm going to share this document and choose the Supernote Partner app. Choose the Supernote linking option, and you should see your paired notebook listed. Choose the transfer file, and it'll immediately show up in the inbox of your Supernote notebook. You can mark up the document or even sign it. And when you open the document again on your phone app, you'll see the document has been updated with the signature. Now you can share this updated document by hitting the three dots and selecting export. You can now email, text, or send it to any other app of your choosing. So if you want to enable Supernote linking, you first need to ensure that both the Supernote notebook and the phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Let's start with the notebook first. Swipe down from the top and choose Settings. Select My Device and toggle on the Supernote linking. On the phone, go to Settings, select Supernote linking, and see if your notebook device is already listed. If not, select Refresh. Then select the notebook from the device list. It'll give you a pairing code. On the notebook device, you'll see a prompt to pair the device with the phone. Hit Pair and you're all set. And that's it, you're officially set up and synced. You can now browse, search, and organize your Supernote notes within the app. But we can take this one step further. You could take your messy handwritten notes and use AI like ChatGPT to instantly transcribe them, summarize them, or even turn them into perfectly formatted tables, chart, or infographic of your work. And this is exactly what I'm gonna share with you in the final video of this series. 
It's one of my favorite productivity hacks to use with this device. Depending on when you're watching this video, the final video may not have been released yet. And if that's the case, please make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you can be alerted when the video is released. I promise it's gonna be a good one. Thanks.